impossible object. This is actually a poem written um, in response to a lot of red work that we've been reading by Oppen, and it has some lines from his letters in the poem. Um, impossible object. The world turned out a little soft at the edges, thinking beyond imagination and repair to fill the diminutive with paper. The world is a little soft at the hem. The world is a soft button uninformed by chance and contingency. Inside the apple tree, the world invites our legs to move in several directions, repeating the cardinal motives of other trees more human than liquid or animal. Other dimensions become home and we float through public long so. We've got thinking to do or something else, like using a gesture to indicate imminent peril or dividing a friendship in threes and trumping the darkness citizen. Meanwhile, eucalyptus invent their own language to make the heart move at the speed of reading. Not even electricity yields religion or surprise if the brain is a vessel through which a little wind passes. When you say I'm a pirate and my body is an image the mind makes, I need this song in order to be awkward. You can see from this point of view, making a storm of public disclosure, declaring my head is in Acapulco, my body in New York, waiting for sunfish to interrupt and belonging to the world by virtue of grass. Even often says it's an event when poetry is not met by silence, so look for the surface, the skinny in the water, the character of vowels when they buckle at the wrist, in overalls, shored up against beauty and restraint. Say you once heard an operator speak softly to a daisy, forgive my grasp. It has been pleasant to see you. First this, then losing patience with Columbine and Posey. You declare yourself a longshoreman in charge of a kingdom, marketing po problems to poets reading poems. You must suffer less than I do from superstition, regret. The world is whispering light, light. One might as well paint pictures of books. In the room of relevant misunderstanding, you deliver the charitable voice in the middle, so. A poem is not the nucleus of an atom. The flowering, the atmosphere, the lime. I lose patience with the driver speaking English. I maintain, I turn the page. Instrumental paintbrush. Something like an arch in an insect, small things accumulate in the Pacific. Small things articulate, someone says. Hello, verb, the adjective. If love is a medium, her thesis, nature. So public, the weather, so elegant, the explanation. Belonging to trees, irrespective of scale. In this age of parts, we embrace by mistake. I was surprised and found the harp, a reasonable outline. History is the painting she unbuckles from her hair. And this is the last poem I'm going to read, which is about, it's in six parts, and it's called Paul Clay. Paul Clay. How to compose a question to spell the word blue in Paul Clay's painting entitled Paul Clay's The Color Blue. In the painting, the entryway to the little room called blue, or Holocene, a face with orange noise. In Paul Clay's painting, so many polar explorers, so many buttons under hands, understand intimacy and texture, or substitute texture for the intimacy under hands. I'm not your aster, burnt marshmallow, small honey, gradations of warm honey blue to yellow light, pale suggestion of warmest chartreuse summary, suggestion of hello plus, substituting the body for the pale suggestion of green grass. Replace doubt with live color and the affirmation of color, or substitute affirmation with actual texture, Substitute when a human body disappears with wavelength or fold of blanket. Substitute and or replace wind with bees. What is the shape of the little rabbit inside you? I was explaining my drawing of a curved line. I said I didn't know, I said, in a system of circles and stars. I resemble the heart in that painting, the half face, half turned, the red-headed painting. I resemble the pinks and grays, I resemble, he said, that looks like you, and I turned, in the museum, in the gorgeous room. That's not me, I said, that's you. Fatal bassoon solo versus well-tended woodland path. I knew myself to be on the verge of finding the living record of an underground tree. I knew an ear was also an animal, or witnessed the man with the beard of bees, the cunning enticement of pen on paper. My moving furniture gave me an uncompromising vision, like signs intensifying themselves. What is the shape of this meaning? I've just cobbled together. I mean, I've just jerry-rigged this hellhole, utopian bald. 
I'm thinking of two syllables, a subject and predicate I stole. I'm thinking of as knowledge relates to color, forms, the visible. I'm thinking a grassy movement, a texture, a diagram for the drawing of a line. Your birthday carries a wavelength and a color. Your body carries this wavelength with specific reference to knowledge, the visible. I produce a light compatible with my hands to keep the present present. I look past seeking into thought and find the hazelnut of tomorrow, but the painful exigencies of being a swimmer demand of me to return to clouds. Thank you.